Hey, what's up guys? I device help here. Welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about iOS and a jailbreaking. These two things have gone hand in hand over the past several years and it's no secret that Apple has looked to the jailbreak community over the past several iterations of iOS to improve the software. Rather, it's toggles, colors, features, functions, gestures. The jailbreak community has been an inspiration, whether Apple admits it or not, to add new features and functions to the iPhone. Now this year, I wish Apple would change one thing. With iOS 14, I wish they'd change the control center. Ever since Apple introduced this new control center, I always thought it was clunky, it was crowded, it wasn't very practical. To invoke some of these toggles here, or to actually see these toggles, you have the 3D touch, and then you can see the toggles. You also have extensions and other settings and options that some users till this day do not understand and how they work and how they get added to the actual control center, etc. So this year, I wish Apple would hire or purchase directly from these two developers that are doing a fantastic job with a jailbreak tweak that's coming early February called Prism. Now this jailbreak tweak here reimagines what the control center for the iPhone should look like. Now as you can see here on the top right you have the battery percentage with the actual battery icon and the percentage very clear. We also have your widgets. They're all accessible with one hand. You can 3D touch long press here and you get additional options just like you do currently with the control center right now. You can do that of course with all the other toggles here as well. Now the tweak will be customizable, further customizable in the future. I'll link down below the developers behind this project. They're doing a fantastic job. If you have any questions, you can hit them up. They're the best people to answer all the questions that you may have in regards to this jailbreak tweak. Of course, you have to be jailbroken. This is an iPhone 10 on iOS 13.3 and it is currently jailbroken. Here is the brightness toggle right here, accessible, one hand use, very easy. You also have your volume right here. You have all of your other toggles down here such as the clock, you have your dark mode, you also have uh, some of the widgets that you love uh, to invoke directly from the control center like the low power mode, right there it is, calculator, the flash, right there it is, all accessible one hand. You also have your media players at the bottom which look really nice in my opinion. You can further press here and get your airplay or airdrop options as well. And you have your media players right here. If you tap into the music, it'll take you directly to the music application. But it is just so clean, it's so nice. Now, right now, I am currently in the third beta. I have early access so I can invoke it from the top right corner. But the tweak will be able to be invoked from any corner of your iPhone, according to the developer, so top or bottom. It depends on which you prefer. I prefer the bottom, but the developer is not there just yet. But I think this jailbreak tweak just really, really hits it out of the park. I think Apple should definitely again consider buying this from the jailbreak developers or having the developers directly participate on what the control center for iOS 14 should look like let me know in the comments down below would you prefer this over this let me know what you think about this new jailbreak tweak that reimagines the control center thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one peace